I feel like a mouse in a All training wheel. All of his were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Right. Doing as, our, as we're told this time. We're going left. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Then we run in. Meeting room. Meeting room's empty. Read all the funky Yet boards. There was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided Ignore to the go broom up closet. to his boss's office. Hoping coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I s no, we'll do as we're told, we're doing as we're told, we're doing as we're told, we're doing as we're told. Stick with the plan, stick with the plan, stick with the plan. Into the boss's room. Stepping into his manager's office, Code. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Two, what dark secret was being held from uh, him? Eight, what four, he could five? not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned what? it Two, an extra eight, secret pin four, number. Five. Two, Eight. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That's right. Oh, you're that not going to kill me for that. anxiety you? isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Oh, God, I hate you. Can I ruin it by playing the piano? Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Okay. Don't click the button before he's finished. Go down, press button. Enter mind control facility. Because that's going to go really well, isn't it? That, that, that's just bound to be a good thing. deeper into the building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. It's Why hell. He feel this That's my job. When for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Because... Stanley's going to find... Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay. Dude, dude, lights. Okay, so I'm in the mind control facility. I have a gate, a lamp. Well, you didn't say I should press the button. And so far, taking the initiative... Okay, there's a certain point where the light runs out. Okay, about there. Uh, taking the initiative has not been hugely fruitful. Fine. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Um, apparently. Cameras. Um, okay. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. Oh. The lives of so many individuals no. reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. One of the monitors is... Two of the monitors... Th no, two of the monitors have red text instead of... Oh, two... two f Which one? What am I again? 
327. 327, aren't I? Am I 327? I think I'm 327. Three two seven. Really should be paying attention. Um, three two seven. Three two seven. Okay. Call an elevator, I guess. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Of course, he, had, he still is. He was happy with his boring job. That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly. Probably. And now I'm being controlled by you. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? We you... truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I'm going to go with yes. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Before he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, you're saying something I finally like the idea of doing. Mind controls, idle, waiting input. Can I not, like, just press the red, big red button? No. Okay, facility power. Oh, five. We got a button marked five. It looks like a pressable button, doesn't it? Okay. Mind controls idle, awaiting input. System power. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. So, turn it off. Right? I mean, one minute it's go left, go right, do this, do that, enjoy the scenery. Next minute, what could be a pretty crucial decision. Off. I'm guessing off. Okay, what is it with this guy and the lights? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I'm gonna go with no. Yes! Yes! He had won! Had I? Have he I? He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was oh, mere can... moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Okay, well, we said we were going to do... what we were told, although I am feeling a bit guilty about leaving my co-workers behind. Okay, is the world going to explode? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, 
that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Yay! Beat the game! Third time through! Beat the game! Wait a minute, didn't I beat the game? Did I not beat the game? What? I don't seem to be the same number. All of his co-workers were gone. What or could it mean? I'm in a different place! Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No, but I beat the game! I beat the game! I beat the game! Oh, f-